We are Grassroots Garage, and this is a That's in Heaven series. On this episode of Grassroots Garage, That's in Heaven Part 1, and Pete's taking care of business as usual. Miguel. 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 Yes. <laughs> right. <laughs> I was sitting there before, and, and, and when this thing rolled in, I had to film it. Yeah, yeah. It's just phenomenal, it's just, isn't it? It is. It's amazing. And, um, and this is, I think this is why we started doing what we're doing. We're sitting in a, we're sitting in a workshop in California, yeah. and we've got Miguel. Miguel, thanks for your time. Thanks for you guys, Miguel. Tell us about your car. It's a 1971 Datsun 510. Um, I've had it since I was 19 years old. Really? Uh-huh, so it's been through many changes throughout the years. Uh, currently, it has an Xterra engine, uh, 3.5 liter modified, uh, 10 and a half to one compression, uh, 300 ZX twin turbo rods, flat top pistons, balanced, blueprinted. So it's it's a beast. It's about 280 horsepower, mm -hmm. 320 foot pounds of torque. Still the same uh, 300 ZX transmission, mm -hmm. 280 ZX brakes all the way around, vintage. Corbo seats, uh, and I just got the JDM tail lights, JDM grill, mm -hmm. and I did it my way, you know, Definitely. just to be differently different. from yeah, from what everybody that. does with you know SRs and all that. I didn't want that. Something different. I wanted yeah. different. I wanted yeah. carbureted. I didn't want fuel injection, and yeah. just give it like that old vintagey, you know. It's a V6. What's the engine out of originally? 2004 Nissan Xterra. Xterra. So, so what's a, happening in this truck? Yes, oh, it is. So it's out of it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Uh -huh. Yeah. Carburet. Carburetor. It's got a Holley two barrel, 500 CFM carburetor. Yeah. With the Euro distributor, which is not available here. It's only available in Europe, so. Yeah. Which allows you to run a carburetor on it. Have we got time to take that for a quick drive? Yeah, definitely, of course. Awesome. When we organized the USA trip and the That's in Heaven series, this was one of the cars I was really excited about going for a ride in. The VG is not a very common conversion in Australia. Everyone's running with an SR, FJ, CA, etc. But this thing had plenty of torque and the sound was unique. It was a real fun car to be a passenger in.
about when you were, tell me about when you first got the car. Actually, it was like right out of high school. A friend of mine didn't want it anymore, and I luckily saved up enough money to buy it. And that's been my car ever since. Don't tell me how much you paid for it. No, no, okay, tell me. In 1990, I paid two thousand dollars for it, two, and he didn't want it. He didn't want it. It's a scrap. It's a junk cut. Two grand. He didn't want it. Get rid of it. Yep. <laughs> so I've had it for those many years, and oh man, yes. You think back, what I would, if I had the knowledge I have now, I would just be buying every. Well, of course. You know. Yes. Yeah, definitely. Yes. Yeah, that's true. Amazing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Two grand. Okay. So when did the modification start? Actually, it started in uh, like 2003. I just started buying parts and the engine and just everything came about slowly but surely. Mm -hmm. And um, I drove it on primer for many years, you know, no paint, you know, no interior, no nothing. So it's progressed over the years and finally has ended up as this. And thank God I haven't done anything else to it. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's very satisfying the way it came out and I like it. You know, I did it for, for me. Mm -hmm. I didn't do it to please anybody else. So It's, uh, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. We love it. Thank you. Tell us about this picture on the side. That came about, um, I guess, wanting to break up the paint because it was just all green. Mm -hmm. And, you know, just, I don't know if it's pain to the Japanese thing. And, you know, I've always been by myself, riding in the car by myself. So, and, and the samurai is always like, you know, just the warrior out there. Mm -hmm. So I figured, you know what? Let's, let's make a funny little mini samurai, little samurai yeah. <laughs> decal yeah, and put it on there. On, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Very cool. Mm -hmm. and I like the little blue eyes and the real cool little feature. <laughs> right? yeah. Yeah. So, that's yeah. <laughs> so that wraps up this beautiful 2 to 5 10 Miguel. Thanks for your time. Thank you so much, guys, for having me. Thank you. Well, that's Dutz in Heaven Part 1 in Southern California. We hope you enjoyed the episode. Next on the list is this beautiful 510 wagon, owned by a larger than life character named Ray, who had us in absolute stitches the whole time we were there with his Aussie slang. Look at the smiles on the face. I know, I know. <laughs> is it because I called you a <laughs> 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 I'm showing you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next one.